Hey, what's up? My name's Samuel Leeds, and I wanted to talk today about letters. Because I think estate agents at the moment, in 2021, house prices are going so crazy, and sometimes it can be difficult to get deals direct from an agent. Which is why we send out letters direct to vendor. Now, when you're sending letters out, I want to talk a little bit about who to send them to, what to say in the letters, how, how, how to get a deal by sending a letter. So first thing, you can send letters to lots of different types of people. You can send letters to people that have got negative equity in their houses, which you can find if they've got negative equity by just looking at how much they paid for the house, how much the house is worth now, and then you can, you can suspect they're in negative equity, boom, send them a letter. You can send a letter. Some of these letters are properties that we've driven past, that it's a derelict house, it, it's, it's overgrown, clearly no one's living there, the person who owns that house isn't going to be feeling pretty good about owning the house. So what do we do? We see it. We find the, we find the address on land registry, which costs three pounds, by the way. You can just go on land registry, pay three pounds and find out who owns it and then write a letter to the owner. So, 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 and just, and you want to just say something like, Hey, I've seen your property. It looks, it looks overgrown. I'd be really interested in having a conversation. The purpose of these letters, is not to try and get a deal, but to try and get a conversation. So, so this is a sales letter trying to get a conversation. I mean, that's how it works. Uh, how, many, how many letters would you say you typically send to get one conversation? To get one conversation? That's a good, that's a, that's a good question. I would say to get a conversation, you probably need to send out 10 letters to get one or two conversations. I mean, our, our, our ratio is about 20% that get respond, which is quite high, but that's because these letters are, are, bl are bright yellow, <laughs> so they get your attention, and, and it's a good letter, it's a well-written letter, I'd say about 20%. I, I agree with that, and I would say half of those are just politely telling you. Right, 20% yeah. of people will respond to you, and some of them will just respond and say, hey, thanks for your message, but right now, we're not interested in selling. It's more like 10%, isn't it? One, one in 10, one in 10, 10%. Okay, but, but, but listen, here's the biggest thing I'll say about these letters, is you just need to keep sending them and be consistent. You know, if you just send out 50 letters, we send, how many of these do we send out a week? Like 25, 30 we, a week? We send about 25 a week. A yeah. week? That's not a lot of letters, but it's consistency, and consistency will win this race. So if you want to get a deal in property, or if you want to be a, a full-time property investor, developer, whatever, rather than being like, I'm going to go all that like crazy, like you see me do on the financial freedom challenges, that's okay, but my everyday life is relaxed and chilled, and I'm just consistently doing work in the background. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And are you typically looking for properties with planning or without planning? Okay, so it depends on what the deal is. So if it's a house, a negative equity house, then planning obviously doesn't come into it. Your question is very much tailored towards property development because right now that's more of what we're doing. Um, so if it's a property development, let's say a piece of land, and we're looking to we're looking to build on, build on a piece of land, generally speaking, firstly, you don't necessarily even know what the situation is because we don't do loads of due diligence on the site before sending the letter. But generally speaking, we're looking for properties without planning, the profit's in the planning. So if, 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 there's, if there's a piece of land and it's already got planning, that's okay, but if it's already got planning, it's gonna sell at a premium. So we, we, we'd be looking to buy land without planning. I mean, we, you know, I mean, um, but both, it depends. As long yep. as there's money in it, it's all good. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, and hey, if you were advising someone on how to get started in property development, yeah. what would you- what Start would... with small deals. Start with small deals, build up to big deals. You're gonna mess up on your first deal. So, so you want to start with, you, with, with a small bit. Have you got like a list of questions? Do you want to just read them out to me? Go yeah, ahead. yeah. Um, I've got one more question. Go ahead. My last question is, what do you do if planning is declined? If planning is declined, um, okay. So when you offer on the property in the first place to buy it, generally speaking, you're going to make three types of offers. Offer number one is going to be a straightforward purchase on, on the land as it is with no planning. Let's say the piece of land is... Um, you know, half an acre, it's got no planning. You have a good idea if you think the planning is gonna get accepted or not because of the what the area is doing, because of the, the pattern. You might have an idea of the council. Is there a shortage of houses in that area? So you're gonna have, as an experienced property developer, a bit of an idea if you're gonna get planning. So you can say, look, I'll buy it. Straight off you and you'll offer maybe 200,000 pounds. 
which is a, a, not, not a massive amount of money for half an acre, certainly not where, where we live. In fact, how much did we offer on that piece of land right near my house, just down the road? 80,000 cash? 80,000. 80,000 cash, and how, how big was that? That was for an acre of land. An acre, right, so that's, are you sure? It nearly. Yeah. Nearly an acre, okay. So 80 grand for an acre is not a lot of money. So if you're gonna buy, so, so there's three types of offers. One offer is just a quick, you know, a quick, um, buy cash offer. If, it, if you can't get planning, it doesn't matter that much because you only paid a small amount for it, you can just sell it to somebody. Sell it to someone that wants to land bank it, no problem. And to work out how much you're gonna offer, um, a little tip I heard from my, my friend David Taylor is, he said that a piece of land with no planning is about the same price as an expensive piece of carpet. And that is so, so true. So how much is an expensive piece of carpet for an acre? Probably about what you're gonna to offer to, to buy cash. So, so that's the first offer. Second offer is you can offer to joint venture with the owner and you can say, hey, um, how about this? I'll come, I'll build on it. You can give me the land effectively. And then, and then at the, and you agree a price of what the land is worth now. And then you build on it and do what you need to do. And then you split the profits 50-50 or whatever you decide. And then they get their money at the end. That's a really attractive offer for you because it means you put down zero money. And then the third option, the one that we usually do is what? Options. Options. Uh, an option would be whereby you say, I'll buy it for the price that you want, which might be 200,000 pounds, but I'll give it you in 12 months. And then in the meantime, I'll start getting planning. You might put down a 5,000 pound fee. If you don't get planning, they keep the money. If you get planning, you push the value up and then you have the option to buy it. So, you, you know- and, and to be fair, sometimes you can offer them. You can say, look, I'll either buy it now for- Yeah. Like we did with that one you're talking about. We said, look, we'll yeah. buy it now for 80. We'll buy it on an option for 180. Yes. Or we'll do it as a JV and you'll probably make about 350. We've got some massive big things coming, okay, on the development side. I mean, a lot, of the, a lot of the deals that we do are in forms of joint ventures, and sometimes it's difficult about doing what you can say, what you can't say, but watch your space, because we've got some really visual stuff to show you on the development side. And uh, yeah, so key is, start small, send letters, take action, be consistent, get educated, Join me at the Property Investors Crash Course for a whole day. My, my 12 years experience in property condensed into one day, given to you for free. I mean, how can you hate on that? So I hope to see you there. I'll leave a link in the description and look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.